what's up you guys so today this video is gonna be a little bit different um if you don't know my name is india um this is gonna be why i started youtube now i will get a little bit personal you guys and it might seem like i'm a crybaby but you know it is what it is you guys i guess i'm a crybaby um i can get a little bit sensitive i don't care without further ado you guys let's jump straight into it So you guys this is about me starting youtube you guys how i started youtube the process of me starting youtube okay you guys so when i started youtube you guys i was like 24 you guys i'm 27 now this was like three years ago sorry i had to count <laughs> but this was like three years ago you guys and um i just got on youtube i was just at this point in my life where i was just down i didn't have nobody i didn't have no support um i was a mother and um i had no way to be a mother you know what i mean mentally be a mother yes but far as financially, I couldn't be a mother, you guys. I had my first kid at 18. Um, I was with my boyfriend for two years before I got pregnant. I was um, I was young-minded. I was 17 when I got pregnant, but I had her at 18, sorry. Yeah. Um, I was young-minded. I was gullible. But at the time, I just, you know, I wanted somebody to be there for me. I wanted to feel loved. I wanted to feel, you know protected. You know, I wanted to feel just somebody be there and not leave me. You know what I mean? Not make me cry, not break my heart. But, um, I had my first kid, you guys. It wasn't dreamland, like I thought it was. Like, everybody think their first time is. Unless you're, you know, grown and financially stable and you had a kid, then yes, it might be dreamy. But, um, when you're young, you're never financially stable unless your, like, family is wealthy and you come off wealth. But when you're young, you have to have support when you have a family. And I wish I knew that back then because I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I just knew, you know, Let's have a baby. Let's make this work. Let's be happy. Let's have a family. Maybe this will fix our relationship. You know what I mean? It, I had that type of mindset. And so, um, I had serenity, you guys. When I first had serenity, it's just like my life started going downhill, you guys. I mean, downhill. I, um, I always had money. I always had a little bit of money because I started working when I was like 15. I like Traders World. It was like a, um, a big garage sale place where everybody like a flea market that's what it was it was a flea market and um so i always had money i had like two three cars although you know they was like cavaliers old school malibus but i i earned that by myself i did all that by myself i didn't have i had my mom and i had my dad but i didn't have one of those pants that was like huh you have a new car when you're 16 you know what i mean i didn't have that and so um let's go down the road i had sky I had Sky when I was um, 24. I had Sky when I was 24, you guys. Um, yeah, so a big age difference. Um, personally, because, you know, me and my boyfriend was going through it. And like I said, I thought it would fix us. I thought it would fix us. I thought it would make me happy. I thought, you know, let's bring another kid in this world. And, um, you know, be happy. And come to find out, you guys, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that and um some people will learn the hard way and i had to be the one to learn the hard way you guys um but i really just wanted my heart fixed honestly and so i thought bringing kid more kids into this world would fix it but it does it doesn't especially when you don't like i said when you don't have no support you're not financially stable it doesn't help at all it just brings more overwhelmness i'm not gonna say stress um i'm just gonna say overwhelmness because you know it's harder when you have a kid not only are you trying to find yourself but now you have to find these kids while you find yourself and then you got to help them find themselves you know what i mean so now we just find it everybody so um it came down to me having sky you guys um still was going through a rough patch in my relationship and at that time um i, w I was going i was in school you guys i was in school for um i wanted to be a therapist um for little kids, like in foster homes, kids that need help and um, kids that want somebody to talk to or I wanted to work with serial killers. I wanted to go into prison and work with killers. I just wanted to be in the mind of a killer. Um, I like crime. I like all that, you guys. I don't know why. <laughs> Might be a little creep for it, but I love that, you guys. And I would love to get in the mind of a serial killer or a, or a psychopath. I don't know why, but that's just was my calling. And so I went to school, you guys, and it was took me forever to even sign up you guys because I didn't I didn't have that support you guys like I said I had to beg for rides I had to beg for kid people to ha help me with my kids and like I said when you have kids nobody has to put up with your bullshit nobody has to help you with your kids them are your kids you ask for those kids nobody else asks for those kids but when you have a big family and most of them most of them they don't do nothing it's just sad when they don't help you um 
So down the line, you guys, um, I had Sky, and now I have Serenity, now I have Sky, and now I'm in school, okay? It took me forever to get this, like I said, it took me forever to get the process of schooling. I was through temp services jobs, you guys. I had a job where I worked at a healthcare facility, but they was doing the elderlies wrong. They was doing their patients wrong. And I was like, I can't sit through this, you guys. I can't sit and let this go on. So I had to get out of there, you guys. Of course, you know, I called and, you know, I spoke my part on that. But I had to get out of there. It wasn't, I couldn't deal with that, you guys. Because I wouldn't want to get treated like that. I wouldn't want my grandma or grandpa to get treated like that. You know what I mean? So I had to get out of that environment. So from there, I went to temp jobs, to temp jobs, to temp jobs. And it would be hard for me to even go to temp jobs, you guys. Because nobody would let me use a car. I mean, there would be cars in people's driveways that they're not even using. I mean, just extra cars that they bought. And um, these are the people closest to me, y'all. I'm not gonna say names, but these are the people that's closest to me, my family family. And um, I couldn't even use that car, y'all. It was like 10, 15 minutes away from my house and they'd be like, no, you can't use the car. And um, so that irks me because they let other people use their car that don't even have, don't even have responsibilities. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody has responsibilities, but far as, you know, kids far as more than one kid, you know what I mean? But like I said, nobody has to help you. It's just a thing that you know you wish they would, you know what I mean? So, um, I started school, you guys. I was online. I didn't have the um, luxury to go into school and be in a full school environment, you guys. So I, were, I was in college, you guys, online for um, two years. After them two years, I had to go into a class. I had to do the rest of my three years in a class, you guys. And so, um, I didn't, I didn't have no babysitter, y'all. It hurts me. I didn't have no babysitter, you guys. So, um, and I know a lot of people's down there, like you can get um, daycare vouchers. You can get daycare vouchers. People will help you. And I understand that, but when it's a process of a daycare voucher, you guys, you have to understand, you have to work a month before they give you that daycare voucher. So therefore, I mean, I need somebody to work, watch my kids for at least three days out the week for uh, four weeks, that's it. That is it, you guys. And then again, I didn't have that, you guys. I didn't have that. So therefore, you know, I couldn't go to college no more. I had to basically drop out. Um, it sucked, believe me, and I cried and I cried and I cried. And um, it just sucks. It just sucks, y'all. It bothers me so much. But um, so yeah, plan is to go back to school, obviously. Plan is to go back to school, you know, get my career. Even if this YouTube thing does work out for me, I still want to go back and get my career, you guys. I still want to have a diploma um, from college, you know what I mean? Because that was my dream. So, um, y'all, I'm getting emotional, I told y'all. So, um, okay, from there, you guys. I have been, I have been things, things that went in my life from Serenity and Sky. I have went to jail, you guys. I um, have made the bad decisions. Um, I have, my life was just going downhill, y'all. You know what I mean? And um, I was just like, man, this is, this. What, what can I do? What can I do? How can someone help me? What can I do? So um, I, I, uploaded, I uploaded a video when I was like 15, you guys, on YouTube. I uploaded a video, but it said you need the email. It said you need an MP4, a MP4 um, stream to stream it to YouTube. And I didn't even know what that was back then. I didn't have nobody to help me back then. So you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even upload it. I used to do music. I rapped. I do poetry. And that's how I express my feelings. That's how I express my emotions. That's how I express my depression. That's how I express my life that I have been through too. So at that time I was just doing rapping. I was doing music, you know, I was expressing myself. But at the same time I didn't get able to get it up to YouTube, you know what I mean? I, obviously I just thought YouTube was like Vine, you know, YouTube was like um, MySpace, Facebook, you know, YouTube was like that. So um, when I start taking it serious, you guys, was when I just, I was 24, just had Sky. And I sat down, I was like, man, I have to find some, I have to find a way to make a living with my kids in the household. So therefore I have to find a place where I can work with them when they can be with my presence, you know what I mean? So I had a YouTube channel, you guys, when I was like 24, it was a family channel, 600 subscribers. Like I said, it was one of those channels where you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. It wasn't really popping off. So I started looking at other channels, you guys, and vlogs. I went to do vlogs over there. 
So I started looking at other channels and they was like, and it showed like they did reactions. That's how they build up their fan base is doing reactions. And then they turned to vlogs and then they turned to challenges and stuff like that. So I, that's when I started this channel, you guys. When I first started, it was a rap channel, you guys. It was a um, rock channel. But then you guys, the rock and the country and the oldies, y'all start showing me hella more love. So therefore, you know, I stuck with the people that showed me more love. So, um, and obviously you guys, that's why you guys subscribe for your favorite artists and get my opinions. And I appreciate that, you guys, because on this music journey, you guys, like I said, I grew up with hella of these music artists and I didn't know that, you guys, but I grew up on it with my grandpa and he used to jam to the oldies and my dad and my mom and, um, with the hip hop and the jazz and the, um, Aretha Franklin's and you know the Righteous Brothers. I heard of them, you know, I grew up on them, but I didn't know who they was. I couldn't put a face to it. But now I can since I started this YouTube channel, you guys, and you guys gave me an opportunity to not only express myself, not only to escape from life, not only to talk to someone, to have some support, to have some family, you know? I don't talk to nobody, I don't have no friends, you know? It'd be nice to have friends, but I don't have none, you guys. I did have a friend and she did me wrong. And um, she, she messaged me like a week ago and said sorry and I'm in the process of forgiving I don't hold grudges and I don't hate nobody hate is a big word I hate nobody the person I dislike most in this world is my father and I don't even hate him um, when people don't love you and you just want them to love you you just have to love yourself more you know what I mean this word is yours and you just have to go get it you got to put that work in you got to put that focus you got to put that motivation and if you don't, then nobody will see that you put the work in nobody will know your name nobody will know what you do you know what I mean so therefore I'm I'm, I'm working, I'm working. And, um, but I didn't take this channel serious until like last year, you guys. So last year I um, I made this channel like a year and a half ago, but last year I started taking it serious. I start uploading every day and um, we just start, we start going from there. Now there's channels that it, it irks me because this person, you know, channels YouTubers, you know, um, they don't even put the half the work I, half the work I put in, half the work I put in and they still get more subscribers than me. And that's crazy to me because, you know, I, I, I just ask myself, like, damn, like, am I not putting the work in? But that's when I start getting um, frustrated, and I can't do that, you guys. So I just have to focus on me and my channel. And um, if you're feeling it, you're feeling it. If you're not, you're not. This is not my only channel, you guys. I have a hip-hop channel. I have starting a McBang channel. We'll be down in the description. I just did an hour McBang an hour mcbang for you guys um so if you guys want to subscribe to that channel you guys can i have a tv and movie channel you guys where i stream tv shows and movies and i react to it you guys um so i have more than this channel i have my kids channel too and um but this is the most subscribers i have on a channel but i'm building all my platforms you guys and i'm not stopping 2020 is my year i don't care how other people look at it but 2020 is my year it has to be um but like i said you guys helped in so many ways I don't make a lot on YouTube, but I'm not gonna lie and say I don't make nothing. This is like a, um, it's a full-time job physically, but money-wise, it's like a part-time job. I make like $1,000. With the donations, I make like $1,500. And, um, and that's a lot to me. That's a lot, and I, and I say it in the most humblest way, and I know people's like, nah, that's not a lot, but I'm humble, you guys. A year ago, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, I didn't make none of that in a month. I didn't make nothing. I was under my covers, depressed, sad, crying. How could I make a way? Who was gonna help me? Who's gonna keep my kids? So therefore I made my own way. Therefore I, I did it where I can keep my kids. Um, sometimes you might hear them in the background. It might be SmackDown WWE Raw. You might hear them now, you know what I mean? Um, I usually do it when they're taking naps. I usually do it when it's relaxed time. I usually do it when they're asleep. I'll do it at 12 o'clock in the morning. I'll do it at one o'clock. I do it at three o'clock in the morning. New Year's Eve I did it, Christmas Eve I did it, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving I did it. It's just a whole process you gotta do to build up your platform. And all I gotta say is just stay focused, stay motivated. Because even if you don't have that support, you can support yourself. You just have to find that way, you just have to. You just have to. Um, I know it's gonna be hard and I know it's gonna be a struggle. And I know it's gonna be a disappointment that you know your family member's not helping you, but they're helping other family members out. Or your mother is choosing to pick kids, you know what I mean? Which one to help and not helping the one that really needs the help, you know what I mean? It's just so crazy. It's just so crazy, you guys. Um, there's been times where, you know, I, it's like I said, I, I couldn't go to a job. I couldn't, I didn't have daycare. I didn't have that luxury, you guys. But like I said, I live to, I live to learn. I live to learn. And all I can say is before you have kids, make sure you have that support. Make sure if you don't have that support, make sure you are financially stable. Make sure you don't just have kids just to make your relationship better. Make sure you don't just have kids just because they're cute. 
You want to have kids when you're financially stable. You want to have kids when you have more patience. You want to have more kids when you um know that they're going to be happy with their life as much as you're going to be happy with your life. When you're not happy, they can feel that. You know what I mean? When you're just sitting in a house and you're just looking at the walls and they want things and they want to go places and you can't, it makes you feel low. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you now, before you have kids, just be patient. Just take your time. You have to have support because if you don't have support, you're stuck. You're stuck until somebody unstucks you, period. Or you unstuck yourself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm unstucking myself. I'm determined. I'm focused. I'm motivated to do this YouTube thing. Now, of course, you know, I would want my family members to be on here and react with me. Of course, I want my grandpa to. I don't have that luxury no more. I don't have that luxury, you guys. Um, I have asked them plenty of times to do reactions with me. And it's just like, uh, I'll do a reaction, but they don't really want to do a reaction. You know what I mean? I even asked my grandpa. I don't know if he got the message or not, but most likely he did. And he just probably don't want to do it. But it, I told him, I'll pay you $20 every time you get in a video. That's sad that I have to do that. But, you know, like I said, some things you just, <clears throat> I know it sounds like I'm <laughs> crying and I'm emotional, but I'm not. My throat, I need some water. Um, you don't have that luxury. When you don't have that luxury, you can't, you can't make somebody help you. You can't make somebody be down for you. You can't make somebody follow your dreams and it's not their dreams, you know what I mean? Um, but I will say, the biggest support I have is my boyfriend. Six, seven years ago, I couldn't have said that. Six, seven years ago, I couldn't have said that. But um, we have been in a relationship going on 12 years. And um, I would say it's been a long, long journey. And I'm gonna say this, for anybody that has been in a relationship 16, 17 and on up, it's not gonna be perfect. We're here in love, but you're still trying to find yourself. Not only are you trying to find yourself, this person that you're in love with is still trying to find his self. You know what I mean? We're both kids, we're both young and someone's gonna get their heart broken. You know, someone's gonna get their heart broken. It just sucks it had to be me, you know? It just sucks it had to be me. But it's not the first time a man broke my heart, you know? My daddy broke my heart before any man could, you know? So it's just one of those, y'all. And um, I just want to get on here and tell y'all, I just want to get on here and tell y'all why I started YouTube, why am I still grinding, why I am the way I am. When you guys see me in the videos, when I'm off the camera, I am that happy, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm back to life. I'm back to life. When I get on the video, it's just like, ah, this is my life. This is my entertainment. This is what I like. You know what I mean? When I'm off the camera, it's just like, blah. And I know a lot of people is like, you got kids. Why can't you talk to your kids? Of course I can talk to my kids. My kids is the most loving person, especially when I'm down. They can say the most specialist fucking thing. And it's just like, God damn. I'm so happy I had y'all. But at the same time, you a grown woman. You're talking about emotions. You're talking about the way you feel your life. You can't sit down and talk to kids that's younger and express that, you know what I mean? So, um, it'd be nice to have friends. It'd be nice to have someone to talk to. And, you know, my boyfriend walks 24 seven. So when he gets home, he's tired, you know? Who really wants to talk to me? You know, who really want to talk to me? But um, we're gonna stick to this journey. The plan is to hit a million, but the goal, the real goal is to hit 100K by this year. We're gonna take a step at a time. Hopefully you guys are, you know, following me. Hope you guys check your girl out, you know what I mean? Because I'm open-minded to anything. I show every artist love. Like I said, this is my pop, metal, rock, country, um, Spanish, all that genre over here. But I do have a hip hop channel, you guys, and I have a separate hip hop channel, you guys, because I know a lot of people don't like to listen to young rap. And I'm not gonna leave an artist out, you guys. That's why I have my other channel, you guys. I grew up on jazz, I grew up on hip hop. I grew up on rock, but I got introduced to metal rock. I got introduced to more um, oldies when I um, started this channel, you guys. I'm interested in learning new artists to get to know the feeling of the beat and you know, see if I'm vibing with it, you know, your girl might be vibing with it. Then you might be like, oh, oh it's kind of crucial, you know? Your girl is just different type of ways, you know? I'm very open-minded. Um, I don't judge nobody. I don't care how you live your life. If you lived your life as a stripper, if you lived your life as a drug dealer, if you lived your life as, you know, doing drugs, if you lived your life as um, not doing people wrong, if you do, if you live your life as anything, I don't judge nobody, because that's your life, that's the life you live. Um, I'll pray for you, I'll pray for you, but um, I don't judge nobody because, you know, at that point in time, they felt like they had to go that way to make it in life. And that's just how I felt. Um, like I said, I have done things in my life that I'm not proud of, and, um, 
but I, I have learned, I have lived, and I see, you know, we gotta make a right outcome. We gotta make it right. Even if, even if you, even if you was, um, even if you was born and raised off crime, you gotta change your ways. You know what I mean? You gotta change your ways. You gotta change your mentality. And it took me forever. It took me forever, you guys. I didn't have this mentality until like four, four years ago. I was a hothead. I had so much attitude. Um, it was crazy. But I had loved the woman I become. I love the woman I become. Um, I love that in this last year I found myself. <clears throat> I loved in this last year I have found myself. Not only finding myself, but loving myself. And it took me years. It took me damn near 23 years, 24 years to love myself, to love the person I have become, <clears throat> to love my mindset, to love my character, to love that I'm not judgmental, to love that I'm more open-minded. It's so much stuff that I'm, it's just so much stuff that I appreciate now about myself. Even if I am disappointed in so many people that I know that I know could do me wrong better, that I know should do me better in this lifetime because I did nothing but do good to them. I do nothing but love to them. And you know, it don't matter how much you help somebody. It don't matter how much you're nice to them. It don't matter. Because people cannot like you because they see that you're gonna go far. People will not like you because they see the potential that you really have. People will not like you because they know that you're a strong person, that you're a strong woman. And they will be jealous of that. They will literally not help you because of that. And it's just crazy. I just feel like if my kids needed my help, and you know they make choices on their way to growing up and living life, I would never pick and choose which kid. I would never pick and choose which kid needs my help, because I'm helping all. If they got three, four, five kids, they all coming over here so you can get a job. They all coming over here so you can support your family. Now, like I said, it'd be different if I was out partying. It'd be different if you know I was out here, you know, doing me. You know what I mean? The old India. But, you know, I've been trying to get this shit straight for five, six years, y'all. Trying to get my life stable and, you know, on the right path as a mother, as a friend, as a partner. And um, this year I have found to learn myself. This year I have found who is really with me. Well, I've been knew that for a few years ago, I've been knew who was really with me. But this year it's just like, damn, you really got yourself, India. You really got yourself. Now show them who you are. Show them who you are.